So for the next example, we have an analysis of a circuit containing dependent sources. So for this given circuit, we need to find I delta, I O, and V O. So this circuit contains a dependent source. So we have a current controlled current source. So the value of this current source depends on the value of I delta is located here in this branch. So looking at, at the example, we have uh, the nodes labeled already. So we need to label the loops. So we have only two loops here. So loop one and then loop two. So for the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor, so we can, for convenience, since the current is going towards this direction, so to conform with the passive fan convention, we assume the polarity of the voltage to be positive and negative. So let's label this as V5. Before solving the circuit, we need to analyze the new activity to know where we need to apply KCL or KVL in which we can get the most information. So looking at this circuit, we need to apply KCL at node B. We have KCL at node B. We have I delta plus 5 I delta minus I O equivalent to 0 or I O is equivalent to 6 I delta. So we have equation 1. So we need another equation to solve I O and I delta. So we apply KVL at loop A. Applying KVL at loop A. KVL. KVL at loop A, we have 2500 plus V5 plus VO equivalent to 0. So we need to uh, express these voltages in terms of current. We have negative 500 plus V5 is just 5 high delta and VO is just 20 high O equivalent to 0. We have 5 I delta plus 20 I O equivalent to 500. We have second equation. So two equations, two unknowns. So we can now solve this problem. Now, substituting equation 1 to equation 2, we have We have I delta plus 20. I O is just 6 I delta equivalent to 500. So solving for I delta for amperes. Next for IO, solving for IO, we have IO is just equivalent to 6 high delta. So IO is equivalent to 4 amperes. And 
the last D, V O, V O is just V O is just twenty times I O. Twenty times I O equivalent to four hundred eighty volts. 